morning viewers, my name is Ms. Amutana and welcome to our third program for Accounting Grade 8. Today's topic is the Wages Journal. Before we start, let us look at the lesson objectives, which are 1. Explain wages and the basic salary scale. 2. Distinguish between gross and net wages. 3. Explain the difference between normal and overtime. 4. Define the following deductions which are patient fund, medical aid, payee which is pay as you earn, social security fund and union subscriptions. 5. Prepare the columns for the wages journal and 6. Record transactions in the wages journal and close off the wages journal. Now that we know the lesson objectives, let's get started. When we talk about basic salary scale, we are therefore referring to the remuneration workers receive when they are paid monthly. Gross wage is normal time plus overtime, while net wages is gross wages minus deductions. When we talk about normal time, we are referring to the numbers of hours a worker should work over a given period of time. For example, 40 hours per week. While overtime is the extra time, which is basically more than the normal time, worked in a given period. For example, more than 40 hours per week. Let us then describe the following deductions, which are patient fund. And when we talk about patient fund, we are referring to the monthly contribution made to the retirement fund that we will pay out a lump sum of money to the employee when she or he retires or resigns. Medical aid is a contribution made by the employee towards a medical aid institution that caters for medical expenses of the employees in their immediate family. We move on to PAYE, which stands for Pay As You Earn, also called income tax. This is a deduction from the employee's salary to the receiver of revenue, which is basically the government. We, we move on to Social Security Fund. This is a contribution towards a fund that makes final provision for an employee who becomes disabled, sick, or on maternity leave, while union subscription is a contribution by the employees towards an affiliated group that represents, protects, and promotes their interest at the workplace. Let us then look at the formula to calculate gross wage, which is normal wage plus overtime wage. Let us look at the example to calculate gross wages. The following information is taken from the books of Ondangwa traders. This business has a normal week which consists of 40 hours. Overtime is paid at double the rate paid for normal time. The business workers are Natalia and Star. Natalia worked 50 hours while Star worked 45 hours. And the normal time rate for Natalia is 20 Namibian dollars while for Star is 15 Namibian dollars. The gross wage for Natalia and Star is calculated as follows. Natalia normal time will be hours times the rate equals to the amount, which is then we take the 40 hours worked by Natalia times the 20 Namibian dollars give us 800 Namibian dollars. While for star normal time will be hours times rate equals to amount, which is then the 40 hours times 50 Namibian dollars, which then gives us 600 Namibian dollars. The overtime for Natalia and Star is calculated as follows. 
Natalia over time will be hours times rate equals to amount, which is then the 10 hours times 40 Namibian dollars, which then gives us 400 Namibian dollars. We got the 10 hours of overtime for Natalia by taking the normal week hours and subtract them from the hours she worked. Star overtime will be hours times rate equals to amount. We then take the five hours times 30 Namibian dollars, which then gives us 150 Namibian dollars. We got the five hours of overtime for star by taking the normal week hours and subtract them from the hours she worked. The gross wages for Natalia will be normal time amount plus overtime amount, which is then 800 Namibian dollars plus 400 Namibian dollars, which then gives us the gross wages of 1,200 Namibian dollars. Then the gross wages for star will be normal time amount plus overtime amount, which is 600 Namibian dollars plus 150 Namibian dollars, which then gives us the gross wages of 750 Namibian dollars. Let us use the following information below taken from the books of Maton Enterprise to draw up the wages journal for the week ending 30 September 2019. We have two workers, which is F. Asino and A. Fotolele. The normal time rate per hour for F. Asino is 34 Namibian dollars, while for A. Fotolele is 42 Namibian dollars. The hours worked for F. Asino is 46 hours, while for A for Tolele is 40 hours. The following deductions will be made. One, pension fund, 7% of gross wage. Two, payee tax is 20% of gross wage. Three, the medical aid for F Asino is 65 Namibian dollars, while for A for Tolele is 50 Namibian dollars. Four, Social Security for F Asino is 27 Namibian dollars, while for A for Tolele is also 27 Namibian dollars. Additional information A normal week consists of 40 hours, and overtime is paid at double the normal time rate. Let us look at the answers for the above exercise. We start by writing the heading of the wages journal which is Wages Journal of Maton Enterprises for the week ending 30 September 2019. We continue by drawing the columns of the Wages Journal, which are the Details column, the Normal Time column, which consists of Hours, Rate and Amount column, Overtime column, which consists of Hours, Rate and Amount column, Gross wage column, pension fund column, payee column, medical aid column, social security column, total deduction column, and the net wages column. We are now going to enter the workers' information in the wages journal. We start with F. Asino's information. In the details column, we write the name of the worker, which is F. Asino. In the normal time column, under hours, we record 40 hours. Under the rate column, we record 34 Namibian dollars. And in the amount column, we record 1,360 Namibian dollars. In overtime column, under hours, we record 6 hours. Under the rate column, we record 68 Namibian dollars, and in the amount column, we record 408 Namibian dollars. In the gross wages, we record 1,768 Namibian dollars. In the pension fund column, we record 
123 Namibian dollars 76 cents. In the payee column, we record 353 Namibian dollars 60 cents. In the medical aid column, we record 65 Namibian dollars. In the social security column, we record 27 Namibian dollars. In the total deduction column, we record 569 Namibian dollars 36 cents. And under the net wages, we record 1,198 Namibian dollars 64 cents. We continue to the next worker. In the details column, we write the name of the worker, which is A Fotolele. In the normal time column, under hours, we record 40 hours. Under rate column, we record 42 Namibian dollars. And in the amount column, we record 1,680 Namibian dollars. In overtime column, under hours, we record zero. Under rate column, we record zero. And in the amount column, we record zero. Or you do not write anything because A for Tolele did not work overtime. In the gross wages, we record 1,680 Namibian dollars. In the patient fund column, we record 117 Namibian dollars, 60 cents. In the payee, we record 336 Namibian dollars. In the medical aid, we record 50 Namibian dollars. Under Social Security, we record $27. In the total deduction column, we record $530 Namibian dollars, 60 cents. And in the net wages, we record $1,149 Namibian dollars, 40 cents. When done recording the workers' information, we then total up the following columns. The normal time amount column, which totals to 3,040 Namibian dollars. Overtime amount column, which totals to 408 Namibian dollars. Gross wage column, which totals to 3,448 Namibian dollars. The patient fund column totals to 241 Namibian dollars, 36 cents. The payee column totals to 689 Namibian dollars 60 cents. Medical aid column totals to 115 Namibian dollars. Social security column totals to 54 Namibian dollars. Total deduction columns totals to 1099 Namibian dollars 96 cents. While the net wages column totals to 2348 Namibian dollars four cents. Let us recap on what we have learned today. We have looked at the definition of wages, basic salary scale, gross wages, net wages, normal time and overtime. We also described the following deductions which are patient fund, medical aid, payee, social security fund and union subscription. And finally, we also looked at the format of the wages journal. Before I say goodbye, I would like to ask the following questions based on what we have learned today. A. Distinguish between gross and net wages. B. Explain the difference between normal time and overtime. Thank you for watching and goodbye.